All right. Today we have an interesting comparison uh, that I've had to wait quite a long time for, uh, specifically waiting for this product, the 2122 SPX, which delayed for well over a year. Um, the reason I wanted to do this comparison is these two products. So we've got 2122 Artifacts and 2122 SPX. These products are about the same price. Um, Pre-sale was around 120, 130 a box, um, but they're very different products uh, depending on what you're looking for. Um, Artifacts has eight packs per box with four cards per pack, 32 cards total. Has base cards, inserts, numbered parallels, things like that. Um, so it's almost more of like a true set. Of course, it has the jerseys and autographs and things like that that make it the the top tier set or, or higher tier set. The SPX, on the other hand, has four packs, one card per pack. So this box only has four cards. Um, uh, it says collect two autograph or memorabilia cards per box. So like kind of the point of this set is to just get the big hits as opposed to all the base cards and things like that. Um, and whichever one is better is, is personal preference. That's up to you. Um, I just want to show them side by side and then you can watch and you can decide which you would prefer. Um, start with the artifacts cause the SPX is a really quick break with only four cards, but let's get into it. So here's what these cards look like. Um, yeah, pretty base, but that's fine. Uh, Kevin Lankinen, Jacob Voracek, uh, Ryan Merkley, rookie for San Jose, numbered to 999, and Andre Palat. The numbered cards are, are a big part of this artifacts artifact set as well. There's quite a few of those. Philippe Forsberg. Jack Eichel of the Sabres. Red, numbered to 499. Jason Zucker of the Penguins, and Tyler Bertuzzi. Uh, Morgan Riley of the Leafs, another numbered card. Braden Point, numbered to 299. That looks like, I don't know if you can see it on camera, it's kind of like a rainbow, like a holographic type foil. Brendan Gallagher and Clayton Keller. So all numbered cards so far. Hopefully we'll pick up something else. God, these, are, these are hard to open this year. Oh, well that's lovely. A decoy and one card. Well... Good to see their uh, quality control is uh, just as good as it always has been. Miko Rantanen, Andrei Svechnikov of the Hurricanes, another to two ninety nine. That sort of like rainbow foil. 
Philip Grubauer, and Shea Theodore. It's not a lot of luck in this box yet. Well, there's there's something. There's something thick there. So we got Thomas Grease of the Red Wings and Mark Stone Treasured Swatches for the Vegas Golden Knights. Okay. Interesting. And then Thatcher Dimco. Two more packs. This one feels really thick. All right, well, this might make up for the pack that only had two cards in it. There's multiple thick cards in there. Oh, nice. Look at that. So we've got a uh, two patch or two jersey piece um, autograph. Jack Hughes of the Devils, numbered to 45. That's really nice. So then we've got Oliver Bjork Stan. Oh, there we go. There's the double hit pack. Kale Addison, two jersey piece, number to seven ninety nine. So all right, I'd I'd say that probably that makes up for our short pack. And then Zach Parise. All right. So we got one more. One more pack here. We've gotten our uh, three hits for sure. So, so we got Josh Bailey of the Islanders, Dominique Kobalik of the Blackhawks, Rope Hints of the Dallas Stars, number two seventy-five, and then Pierre Luc Dubois of Winnipeg. All right, so. Pretty good box there. Um, looked like we were going to get unlucky and then ended up actually getting a little lucky. So we, the big hit definitely is the Jersey Auto here of Jack Hughes, number to 45. Um, that's that's a big that's a big one. Um, Kalen Addison, rookie, Jersey. That's another good hit. Uh, this one, I mean, this is obviously just more of kind of like a plain jersey card, but it's still kind of neat. You know, it's a cool design. Um, all the sort of silver and gold really goes well with, with Vegas, so it's kind of a neat neat matchup there. And then our, our numbered cards that are pretty common for this set. All right, so now we'll compare that to SPX. Once again, this is four packs, one card per pack. Got something kind of thick right off the bat. Oh, winning combos. Philip Grubauer and Yanni Gord. So a double jersey card for the Seattle Kraken. That's a nice hit. I mean, those are it's just plain jerseys, but the the two jersey combo. Um that's nice. Rookie superscripts. Oh, Garrett Pilon. So that's not anybody I've ever heard of, but still, rookie rookie autograph. Um, it's pretty cool. They are sticker autographs, the same as the artifacts. That doesn't bother me. I know it bothers some people, but ooh, this this pack feels really thick. 
Yeah, definitely got something here. Oh, it's a shadow box. The Hurricanes, though. Teva Teravainen. It's not one of the autographed ones. There are some autographed shadow boxes, but this is cool. This is a very, um, the, the tech for the card. Last one here. This will probably be like a base card of some sort. Oh, or maybe not. Oh, acetate. Cam Atkinson, Radiance FX. Okay, all right. That's a that's a pretty decent box of SPX. There we got a double jersey and an autograph, and then our two what they call tech cards with the the acetate and the shadow box. So that's not bad. That's a that's a definitely an above average box. Um, so there we go. There's um, artifacts and SPX. You can look at those side by side and decide which one you would prefer. I have my own preference, but that's, you know, that's just me. Um, we'll see you next time. Got a couple more boxes of artifacts to open up.